I do. We talk a few days ago on my birthday, so yeah, on the phone. That's right. That's good to right. talk to you again. Good to talk to you um, too. You know, oh I didn't, my God. Uh, How was your birthday? It was good. It yeah. was good. I ended up playing a soccer game that night, scored a winning goal. I started off the morning good with you. So perfect, perfect day, you know. Perfect day, yeah. um, But, you know, one thing I didn't ask you, I was wondering kind of going back to it. Um, you know, you worked on it. You, you, know, you told me how you worked on it for so many years to make this movie happen. You know, it's been a long time. After doing it now, now you're kind of on a red carpet, you know, in a sense, a lot of the work is behind you. What are some things that, looking back now, that, that I guess, in, in a way, are meaningful to you? You know, from the starting process to, to this kind of completion now, what are some things that stand out to you? I mean, it's been an incredible journey. Yeah. I think when you're making any film, it takes you into a world. And to go to France, to go to the places Colette lived, that was, you know, it was just really important it was really a, a, an amazing thing at one point Colette had this country house and it's now all boarded up and no one really it's not on any tourist maps or anything just staying there and we went to the town yeah. um, me and uh, my partner Richard and we asked the city officials where is this house where is it located they couldn't tell us and so we went to an old bookshop and we said this to this old woman who lived there where's the house of Colette and she drew us a map on the back of a cigarette packet no way we went up there and we climbed over this fence and there was a house in all its dilapidated glory and there was a single red rose in the garden and we just thought Colette wants us to make this movie she has to want it's us like to make no this movie. one even like locally just it's kind of like yeah. preserved in a way it was, right and Unbelievable. It just, they just weren't um, sort of making anything of it i think now all this time later they're actually starting to say come and visit the house of Colette but at that point it wow. was all closed down. You discovered a museum yes, <laughs> pretty exactly. much. You know, um, any favorite memory like uh, that's a good uh, offset memory but anything on set too or, or throughout the process that st stands out to you also um, even something small you know that 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 stands out personally. Oh on set um, it had to be the day we shot our Moulin Rouge sequence because mm -hmm. we were all so like concerned about the amount of work we had to do in one day and Kira was concerned because she had to do a dance you know solo that was really difficult and um, she always wants to do everything 100% perfect and we had 200 extras all in period costume and we also had to do a riot so that day at the beginning of the day I was like I cannot imagine getting through this <laughs> right. and it was just the magic happened everything came together it just it, it was like it was like we were in history when we made trusting that, the process in a sense you know in that when way we saw Kira on that stage I was just like wow what's one thing you learned about Kira working with her on this movie uh, I learned like what a nice person she is hmm. I mean, she is a brilliant actress and um, she's a very committed mother. Her daughter was around all the time and she's just very, you know, wonderful to deal with. Very just like human, communicative and warm person. So um, that was a real great discovery. What do, you, what do you hope that people get out of it? And we see a lot of people filing in, coming out, checking out this movie. Now everyone kind of is going to get to see it for the first time. What are you hoping they take away from it? Well, I hope people learn about this person who lived 100 years ago and be inspired by her because she was so, like, you know, she broke through so many barriers. She did it her own way. And she lived in a very, like, fearless way. She just kind of did everything she wanted to do right. and didn't let anything hold her back. She was a force of nature. And just seeing, think seeing characters like that inspires her in our own lives. Awesome. Enjoy this night. This is a Thanks, big night. Man. Thank so you again. Good to meet you in person. <laughs> yeah, I'm catching up on Wild Wild Country, so oh, we, we, awesome that's, that's your recommendation. Man, oh my God, I love, love it. it. Thank you.